Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Once again, we are doing cabinets today. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All the cabinets staged in this room. So those are the upper cabinets in the back, the lower cabinets in the front here. And it's kind of in this shape, actually. So we've got to hang those on the wall, nice and plumb and level, and then we got to put those below it. And we're gonna put those on the wall first because if we do the cabinets below, then we have to reach over and it's really a pain. So we'll do the upper cabinets first and lower cabinets. And I'll show you the tips and tricks that I know on the way. And uh, yeah, let's start with tip number one. Tip number one, I have already finished it. I will put the clip of me marking the lines right here. And then, uh, you what done. So we've got the lines marked for the upper cabinets right here. And then the little tick marks are where the studs are. And then the lower cabinets, I've got a level line marked right there with also the lines with the studs. And so I know where to screw my long screws into the studs. That way everything is strong and sturdy. So anyways, let's get into it and let's start hanging some cabinets. So we got the cabinets hung and here's how you do it. So you have the little cleat down there that you screw to the wall and then you can set those on there. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do it. But then you measure over to your marks from the corner and then you countersink a hole and you put your screw in. And we're using three inch deck screws basically. It's just a structural screw. And then we're using a countersink fit like so. And then you can countersink it to a certain point to where the screw head it's flush or a little bit in, and then we're gonna cover these with little white stickers because that's the way they do it with these cabinets. So this is a double stack. So it's got the regular size cabinets there with a little bit above, and then the trim pieces will cover up the end. So I got this one clamped here, and we'll screw it just in a second to where it makes the end look really nice. And then this is just a spacer, but we're going to have a trim piece on this side to match that side. So let's go to the next thing, and we'll catch you after we're done with that. doors installed, which is pretty easy. I'll show you how to do it. I have to go back through and line them up. So this one I've already done. So I see how it has a perfect gap all the way up the middle here. And then at the bottom, you see nice and flush. On this door, you can see that there's no gap in the middle. And when I open this door, it clashes on that door. 
So by fixing it, there's these two little screws here. This one adjusts the in and out of the door, and then this screw adjusts the forward and back. And so I'll loosen or tighten the screws accordingly, and it'll make them fit nice, just like this one. So let's go ahead, jump into time lapse with that. Actually, before we do that, let's look at the hinges real quick. So these hinges have a pre-drilled hole right here, and then a little snap clasp right here. So you slide it in the hole, and close that clasp, and it'll expand the bolts, which is really nice. And then these are really simple. It has a little button on the back, and you just slide it into a slot, and click it in. So super easy. So let's get to aligning all the doors. We got the lower cabinets installed. They're actually not installed yet. They're just sitting there so I can get an idea of the measurements I need and all that stuff. But let me turn you around and show you what I'm doing. In the corner here, we got the blind cabinet, they call it, because there's this corner back here that you can't see. So the blind cabinet, blind corner cabinet. And it's the first one you put in because we want to put it all the way up against that wall. And we want it level. And so that line on the wall that we did earlier today is how I can figure out if it's level or not, and by using a level, but you can see the line is perfect all the way across, except for back there, which I'll do a little touch up. And then the cabinets next to it, these are filing cabinets, because these are for an office, of course. And I've got these cool little clamps, if you ever need them, they are awesome. And that's what they're called. I don't have a link to it, but they're awesome. And then click all those together, and then eventually we'll screw these together. Uh, and wherever you can hide the screws best. Like if I were to screw from this cabinet into this one, I'd want to put a screw right there because then I can countersink it and hide it behind this hinge and you'll never see it. So that's a little tip. On these ones, you'll not worry about it. You can screw wherever you want because the drawers are covering everything. And then there'll be a little filler piece over here that'll make up this gap. And then the countertops will go across. The reason I haven't installed them quite yet is because behind this one, there's an outlet and a phone jack and those are gonna have to be moved up to here, so that that one, that one was moved. So move that one up to here, and then we can install these cabinets. But I wanted to mock it up before I got everything all screwed together. This is actually gonna be screwed over a tiny bit with a filler piece in between so the doors open nicely, and then an empty spot, and then another cabinet, and then another blind cabinet, and then another desk area here, and then another filing cabinet. So we had to work our way around. Uh, so let's get started on cleaning this room out and then put some more cabinets in. Okay, it's about time I bring you back up to speed. You'll notice it is another day because I'm wearing a different shirt. Ran out of time yesterday, had some stuff needed to do. So anyways, let's turn you around and I'll show you what I've done in the last three or four time lapses uh, and kind of explain what we're doing. So what we have done is mounted the base of the floor and leveled it. That way these countertops, or these the countertops are level too, but as soon as we set those cabinets down on top of that, everything is level and plumb. So, if you look across there, everything matches nicely on the top. And then it is screwed to the wall as well, just like the upper cabinets, so they don't move on us. And that's what we did those marks earlier in the video for. That's where the stud is. And since the wall isn't perfectly straight, I used some spacers, which is just painting sticks basically, to fill in the spots where it's not touching. And then we screw the wall. That way everything is perfectly straight across the front. And then as we move around, I anchor this base and then level this. Uh, and then there's gonna be a filler piece here. The reason there's a filler piece here is because when you open the drawers, you don't want it to hit the handles that are on this door. So you want a little bit of space in between those because if you put it right up against it, you might gain more space here, but you won't be able to use the drawers. So we're putting a three inch gap there and we'll put a filler piece in. That'll be the next thing I'll show you. And the same over here. So I haven't anchored these yet. And this one is missing a base so the cabinet maker is going to make it for me. 
because we paid him for it, so he has to make it. So, I mean, I can make it real quick, but it's not my job. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and mount these two, and then I'll show you how to do the, uh, the filler pieces. So let's get going. And it is finished, check it out. Okay, well, mostly finished. I think I say that every time, but anyways, let's show you the things that I did on those time lapses uh, that you may not understand. So here's this detail right here. This is a trim piece that matches the edge on this side, and then there is a gap here, so we need to fill it. So this is called a filler piece, and you can just uh, screw it in or nail it in from both sides. So you'll see that I screwed it in like so and so it stays nice and tight. Same over here. And then all the doors and the drawers are really easy to, to slide in. They just have these tracks and you set the drawer on the track and then push it in and then it'll click into place. And then you can just, these are soft closed drawers so they'll close themselves. But inside of these that are really cool things. These are the file drawers. It comes with these little metal rails. You have to install them, but they have the slots already. And the metal, you just push them in, which is pretty sweet. And then on the bottom side of the drawer are these little little wheels here. And you can adjust right to left, up and down. So pretty sweet stuff. But anyways, that pretty much sums up the video. Uh, there's a few more things actually that I will do, but I won't waste time on the video, is the toe kicks underneath here. Is There's gonna be another white panel, <laughs> another white panel all the way around the bottom. And then we're going to cover the holes in the, uh, in the, what are these things called? Oh, cabinets, in the cabinets. We're gonna, we're gonna put a little sticker over top of those and then we'll install the shelves that are leading up in there. So it comes with a bag of stickers and a bag of little things for these holes right here that you put the shelves on. So over here, back of the lumber, uh, for going underneath here. So when you go to install your toe kick, they call it, this will slide right in there and then use a finish nailer and you want to nail up here, that way you don't see the nail. So nail up there and we get to the corners, just butt them up together and then on the corners there, you'll do a miter. So with a 45 on each side, so when you cut the end of it, it'll cut like that and the other one will slide into it. So it'll look nice, just like we did on the trim on the windows. Thanks again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, installing the cabinets. Uh, I can't wait to get the countertops on. I'm gonna do a video on the countertops and also the finishing of the trim probably in another video. But if, uh, if you have any questions about cabinets in general or these cabinets, let me know. I'd love to answer any questions, but hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.